This is my DIY kicker hideaway power subwoofer installation. I will be installing this on my 2016 third generation Honda Pilot. A couple of tools that I picked up to make this installation a little easier is a um, wire insertion tool that will allow you to um, feed the um, wires through the vehicle firewall. I also picked up a Vose audio system installation wiring kit um, for the reason that I felt that uh, I may need some extra um, cables and also because I wanted loom tubing for protecting the cables inside the uh, motor. The kicker comes with its own fuse, which is the black and red cable that you see here. But I figured that uh, I will use the Bose one because it looks like it's better quality. I also picked up uh, these uh, Posse wire connectors so that I would not have to cut any of my speaker wires. Take note that I will be connecting the kicker to my factory radio. Before starting the installation, I recommend that you review the uh, document that comes in with the kicker, uh, wiring, uh, diagrams, uh, etc. Also, I use a third generation Honda Pilot uh, wire splicing guy that was uh, provided to me by Crush Fuel. Uh, I believe I bought um, a speaker from them and um, this came in part of the purchase. To begin the installation, pop open the hood and uh, begin to remove the uh, plastic cover as such. Uh, it's easy to remove, just pull it up and the clip will disengage. Then with a screwdriver, you will need to uh, unscrew the uh, air box hose to uh, remove it. Um, after you unscrew it, just pull it out and uh, put it to the side. And then with a 10 millimeter socket wrench, we're going to unplug the negative terminal from the vehicle battery. Move it out of the way so that there is no uh, chance of uh, touching the terminal and sparking. Take notice that when unplugging the car battery, you will lose um, your vehicle radio and settings but no big deal, um, you're installing a subwoofer, so you're gonna have to readjust that. The next step is to uh, bring from the inside of the vehicle through the firewall, the red cable from the uh, kicker harness to connect to the battery. To bring a power cable from the battery to inside the vehicle through the firewall, we're going to be using this uh, screwdriver-like um, wire insertion tool that will pierce the firewall and uh, we will be able to feed the power cable through it. From inside the vehicle, um, I chose to uh, bring the uh, power cable through the driver's side. Over right above the um, gas and brake pedal, there is a pretty big uh, rubber grommet there, which uh, you can uh, use to uh, feed in the um, power cable. After you have inserted the uh, tool, then you're going to need a piece of wire or rope. Pull it from the other side, then take out the uh, insertion tool, then uh, tie down the uh, red um, power cable to the uh, 
rope or cable pull. And now from the inside you will pull it over as such. Then uh, you know address the cable as you choose. I chose to uh, guide the cable around the frame of the vehicle far away from the engine. I removed the rope or my piece of blue cable here and uh, use one of the included terminal to connect to the uh, battery. Then connect the power cable to the positive terminal on the battery. Please make sure that while you're doing this that the uh, negative terminal on the battery is still disconnected. Then I use this optional cable protection to uh, protect the cable from uh, the elements. And I use some zip ties to tie it around. Okay, so between the uh, kicker and the battery, you have to place a fuse. Uh, the kicker system comes with its own fuse. I chose to use the fuse that came with the Bose uh, wiring kit uh, as I thought that it was a better quality and I like the look of it better. Um, so uh, the best location will be to cut the, the red um, power cable near the vehicle battery and uh, find a nice location to place it. So I, uh, you know, cut the cable, uh, stripped it a little bit, and uh, secure the fuse and um, place it mounted uh, where you fit. I'm going to use some zip tie to secure it there. We're back in sign now, and we are uh, going to be working with the uh, blue cable from the kicker uh, wire harness. Um, the blue cable is the uh, remote turn on and what this does is that it will allow the uh, kicker to automatically turn on when the vehicle is turned on as you can see the blue remote turn on cable is pretty short and um, placing the uh, kicker so woofer underneath the um, driver um, seat the cable is still too short to run it to the uh, few box underneath the steering wheel. So I will use uh, an extension cable from the uh, Bose uh, wiring kit that I purchased. To supply power to the uh, remote turn on, I will be using one of these uh, fuse tap adapter to uh, run it to the um, fuse box on the driver's side underneath the steering wheel. So the way that these fuse tap adapter work is uh, you find a fuse that uh, you want to use, um, either a door or a light or uh, something. You will need to look at the, uh, the fuse uh, box underneath the driver uh, diagram. There's a little diagram that tells you what each fuse is for. Um, so you will remove that fuse and um, then you will uh, place an extra fuse into the tab so the tab adapter will have two fuses and then you will place the adapter in that location so uh, so pretty much it's a splitter you're splitting up the fuse to, to, uh, to power two uh, devices so now to the fun part, taking the interior apart. So you will, uh, you will um, begin by um, finding where you could stick your fingers under and just pulling those panels. They are just hold by clips and if you add a little 
four still come apart. Same thing with the door pillar. I recommend you perhaps move the seat all the way to the back before you turn off the battery so that you're able to have little room to uh, pull out the panel. Then I'm, I'm just removing this other panel to um, see there the little diagram of the fuse box. Uh, each of those tells you what is what. So, uh, just removing it. I don't think I removed it completely. I just pulled it out so that I could hide the cables under there. Okay, now comes uh, one of the most uh, important and interesting uh, part of the installation. And this is the um, speaker uh, connection, which uh, speakers you're going to be tapping into. I tap into the uh, rear door speakers. The connection are on the pillar, so you're able to just unplug the uh, clip uh, connection and the cables are already exposed, so you don't have to uh, expose any cable. And also, so that I did not have to uh, cut any cables or splice any cables, I use the uh, posse tap to um, just tap into the uh, cable that I needed. And what gets interesting is that on the driver's side, the cables are one color, and on the passenger side, the same cables, same function, are a different color. To figure this out, I um, use the uh, wire guide that uh, was supplied to me from um, Crutch Feel. The cables that I wanted to tap into was on the passenger side is the gray and white. The white is the positive and the gray is the negative. And on the passenger side, I tapped into the pink and the blue. The pink was the positive and the blue was the negative. Uh, please, um, refer to the uh, kicker hideaway um, manual to figure out the uh, their color combination for example the kicker harness cables are the white and white with black so that the white is left positive and the white with black is left negative the gray is right positive and the gray with black is right negative. So you will use this information to uh, coordinate each uh, right and left and the proper colors. The black cable from the kicker harness um, needs to connect to the chassis, to the bare metal of the chassis ground to the chassis there. Uh, review the uh, kicker hideaway instructions on what are the best settings and uh, after you have all this connected then you could uh, now go back to the front of the vehicle and uh, plug in the battery um, negative terminal. All right, you have installed your subwoofer and uh, hopefully everything uh, worked out the way that uh, it worked out for me. But wait, before you're able to drive away, you have to disable the uh, A and C, the active noise canceling. If you did not disable the active noise canceling on your Honda Pilot, um, once you start driving and you pick up speed, the subwoofer will send a signal to the uh, built-in subwoofer and your vehicle will generate um, terrible feedback noise that uh, you won't be able to sustain 
in the vehicle. It was just extremely loud. The most effective way is to unplug it. Um, some um, users have uh, just cut the cable or put a piece of tape over the microphones. I found that the most um, effective way is to unplug it because uh, if you ever want to uh, want that option back on you could just you know, plug it back in the only problem is that uh, where you need to unplug it is uh, a little bit of work you will have to remove the um, glove box um, panel and um, right underneath there um, you'll be able to remove it Thank you very much. I hope that you found this video useful or that it gave you some um, knowledge or uh, clarification on how to do this subwoofer upgrade.